everyone. Today, I would like to take up a question by Mr. Ajit Garu. Uh, he basically has a child who got a uh, exposure to the screens when the baby was at 10 months. From 10 months to 2.5 years of old, the child has a continuous or a regular screen exposure. So because of which he has observed there is a delay in the language development and since then the point when he realized he started increasing the stimulation to the child and they also took the intervention support for about 10 months and with God's grace today the child is able to develop all the pre-linguistic skills which is important for developing the language for example child is able to respond to name call and the baby also developed joint play with other children and the other adults child also started looking into the eyes so there is certain amount of language also which child has developed and the behaviors or especially the restrictive behaviors there is nil about it there is no rigidity in the child's behavior and when he did the M chart in the beginning, uh, that is about 2.5 years, if the score was at 12, that means it's a high risk. But currently when he repeated, the score just came to 1 on the M chart. So Ajit sir, he wants to understand what else can be done or he wanted me to give a comments and advice on the child's progress or the child's current skill. This is Dr. Jyotsna Dani Gundala from Daffodil's Child Development Center, Hyderabad. So, sir, I definitely would like to congratulate you for taking these signs and symptoms very seriously. And not only by removing the screen, you also kept your foot forward by playing more with the child and by stimulating the child more. Along with which you also took a professional support for about the 10 months. And because of all your collaborative hard work, like the parents, the therapists or you, you all were able to successfully get the child out of the risk. So that is what your MCHAT score is validating. Like we are very happy to know it. But also even at the moment, you please continue your stimulation. Don't reintroduce the screens again for a long time. See for about 15 to 20 minutes and in the breaks it is okay. Not that I'm saying you should completely take it off. But as much as possible, you try to avoid the screens. And whatever you want to teach, you try to take the printouts and give it in a paper and pen based to the child rather than showing the even the games or an educating things on the screen. Also, I want you to continue with the interventions for a few more months and slowly fade off the interventions. If you suddenly take it off, we don't know how the child is going to respond. So it's always better you inform your therapist to reassess and check the developmental age of the child and the specific language age of the child. Based on it, your therapist and you can sit together and formulate the plan and slowly fade off the therapist intervention. Along with that, you need to definitely take over even that portion of the stimulation which your therapist is giving and make sure the child is reaching enough amount of stimulation. At this age, you definitely need to focus on the number of communicative scenarios and not only on the mere language or the mere words. Also look for how many variety of sentences the child is using. What is the grammar of the sentences? Is the child able to understand a near future and the near past and is she or he able to put it in the words or express it in the words? For example, yesterday we went to Granny's house and try understanding whether they are using distance markers and the gender markers or the plural markers and please continue your stimulation in the similar way also expose the child to a lot of physical sports which in turn will teach a lot many things for the child including the focus attention along with the group skills so i hope you got enough of input please be in touch with your professional all the time and whenever required you please be open to take the interventions if it is required in the future. So maintaining a periodic monitoring of the child is important till the child turns to the age of 5. So if you further have any doubts, please do post in our comment box. Thank you.